So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to change retention settings for quarantine files. Now this is actually pretty simple using the GUI, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's something that's covered within the Nozomi Network Certified Engineer Training Course. So if you've done that course, you should know how to do this. To make it a little more interesting, we're going to um, pose the problem that we need to make this change to multiple guardians within an environment at once, and we'll show you how to do it using Vantage. Let's go. Here I am in my guardian. So let's go Administration, Features Control Panel, and select Retention. Now if you scroll down the screen a little, you'll see here, Files Quarantine. And it's a slider that you can change the number of files that will be stored on this Guardian appliance. And it's currently set to 50 items. And this is normally where you'd make this change. There'd be no other reason to do it in the CLI unless you were doing it through an API for some, or doing it through that API for some reason, or you had multiple appliances that you needed to make this change on. So that's currently set to 50 items. Let's go into the CLI and make the change locally here. And then we'll show you how you do it using the you know, using Vantage for multiple appliances. So I scroll back up and I select CLI. And this is my command here. Conf.user configure retention. Quarantine, number of files, and then a number on the end. 50. Let's change that. Let's make that 100. And when I hit enter, we get our success message. So if I go back to the features control panel again, Features Control Panel, Retention, and we scroll down and take a look for that. There we go. There's that setting there. So Files Quarantine is now set to 100 items. So it works. Um, but as I said, it, it's just as easy to move the slider as it is to do it through the CLI. But if you had multiple Guardians in your environment and you needed to make this change to all of them for whatever reason, or some of them, um, it it could drag out, right? Now you could script it up and do it through the API using Postman or something like that. Um, but if you're a Vantage user, it's even easier. So I'll jump over to Vantage. And here in Vantage, if I go Administration and then right down the bottom on the left, we have CLI. And here you can see the appliances that are in my network. So let's pick the ones that we want to change. So I could select all. Um, or I can just be se uh, selective and pick the ones that I want to change. And here we are here. Um, we'll, let's change these three appliances. And all I need to do is paste in the, um, the command here. Um, you can change the 50 to suit. We're just going to set it back to 50. And then you say, in this case, it says send command to three sensors. So we hit that button. I'll just scroll down a little here so you can see everything. And on the left, you can see the sensors that we're sending the command to. On the dark portion of the screen, you can see the command that we're sending. And then the three dot um, icons above show all the appliances, how many are completed, and how many are executing. And now it's just a game of sit and wait. Um, and this typically takes a minute or two. We'll come back when it's complete. Okay, so here we are. That's complete. You can see the message in the dark portion um, has changed, and it's showing that it's done. We've got three completed, um, three completed appliances showing. Let's go and check the uh, check those changes. So if I jump back to the L two hundred and fifty we were in before, and I refresh the screen, we scroll down. We now see the file quarantine has been changed back to fifty. We'll jump over now to one of the other appliances in the lab and check that one. So we go admin, features, retention, let it populate, scroll down, file quarantine, 50 items. Job done, dead simple. <laughs> 